Hi, I'm Jim from Jim Shaped Coding. Welcome to Python tutorial for absolute beginners. If you never had programming experience before, this is the series you should watch. So why you should learn Python? Python is being shown as the most popular language in 2020 in almost each top 10 sites. And it's a fantastic choice for new programmers because it's simple syntax. Also, why you should start this series with me right now and on my channel. You will enjoy short well-explained videos and you will have free access to all exercises on each topic that I'm going to cover. Check out the link to my website in the description. Alright then, let's start. Hi everyone, if you are here, I am really happy and excited that you are going to be a part of this journey and those are the really seconds that we are about to take action and start learning the Python programming language. So in the very first video, I'm going to explain you about two important actions that we have to take to start programming. So in the first step, we must install the Python programming language and all its libraries and all its files to our computer so we can work with Python. Now, in order to do that, as you see, I'm already on the Python's official website, which is www.python.org. And what I want you to find here is the download button. And once I click that, as you see a box right there in the right side, and I want you to click this button so we can download Python. Now, if by the time you watch this, and if there is going to be displayed a higher version than this one, I still do recommend for looking to install this version which, which is 3.8.2 since it might not have the same files and libraries than I'm going to have during this tutorial so this can lead to misunderstanding and to issues like hey why this is working for him and not for me well this can occur because the versions of the Python are going to be different so after you click that, the download should start automatically. And after you've done that, make sure you wait a few seconds till it's complete and click on the file we just downloaded. And right after it, just select the next to any menu that the window shows till you reach the end of the progress bar of the installation. Now, after you click to the Python installation file, before you move on to the install now, Pay attention to this checkbox right there. Now you must enable it in order to Python to work properly. We are not going to discuss what a path is in this stage, but please make sure that this is checked and a same configuration or a same checkbox may appear if you are on a Mac or in a Linux. So make sure that you must check this in order the Python to work properly. Now you can click install now and wait until the progress bar is totally green and do not cancel it by mistake or something. Great, so setup was successful. Now we are ready to close the installation and move on to the next one. So right now is the second step and on this step we are going to install our editor program meaning that this is the program that we are going to write our Python code and execute it. Now you ask why do I even need another program for editing my code? Take an example where you are at this job and you have to make a big presentation to present a new idea or something. Now you want to do this with a software that is dedicated for making a fancy good looking presentation. So you are going to use software such as PowerPoint or any other good looking software that can deal with good looking graphics. So as we have PowerPoint for creating presentations, so we have IDEs for coding and editing in Python or in any other programming language. Now an IDE which stands for Integrated Development Environment is a dedicated software that you can write in your Python code and execute it. And now we are about to download an IDE for Python that is called PyCharm. So what I'm going to do now is writing PyCharm download on my tab here. So the result from Google will show and I will click the first link 
as I've done that hold your mouse to the download button of the community edition okay well after you press here your download should start but sometimes it won't start as for me it started if it does not start for you but you need to do is click the direct link download and this will for sure start your download so after the download has been finished let's click the python community edition and this is also a setup wizard where all we have to do is just click next until the installation finishes so let's do that step by step and if you want to create a desktop shortcut just click the radio button here and let's click next and install so this is how you install the python and the pycharm which is the ide and on the next one we are going to configure our ide and finally start writing some code and before you jump on to the next video if you like this one so smash that like button and crack the subscribe button up i will see you in the next episode